Hi, I'm Steve Benson. I'm the Executive Assistant at the Jewish Women's Archive. On December 14, 1935, Lillian Hellman's play The Children's Hour was banned in Boston. Lillian Hellman's life and work has a lot of resonance for our times. And Boston had a reputation for banning works of art, books, movies, plays. And in this instance, the mayor of Boston issued a proclamation declaring that this play could not be performed in our city. Why? The Children's Hour is a play about the power of lies and how they destroy the lives of two teachers who are rumored to be lesbians. Some of you may have seen the 1961 film with Shirley MacLaine and Audrey Hepburn in the title roles, and that's considered a milestone in the presentation of gay themes in American art. This was Hellman's first play. She went on to write many others, including The Little Foxes, Toys in the Attic. Even with the banning, she went on to win a Drama Critics Circle and National Book Award for her writing. She was quite controversial in her private life, too. She lived with the mystery writer Dashiell Hammett for decades. Both of them were involved in left-wing issues. In 1952, Lillian Hellman was called to testify before the House Un-American Activities Committee. She said that she would be happy to talk about her life, but she would not name the names of others who talk about their activities in left-wing issues. She said at the time, I cannot and will not cut my conscience to fit this year's fashions. That was true then. It was true also about the banning of her play. She went on to write. But this, this story serves as an example of the futility of trying to stop people from enjoying and learning from any work of art. 